Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out how does a person on your mind feel about you right now. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 31st of March, 2023. Time here in Milan, Italy is 9.05 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, the person on your mind right now. How do they feel about them? Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about right now or currently dealing with. Oops. Okay, I'll take these. Six of Pentacles in love first. You know, initially, um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, your person actually was, I feel like this is in your past, um, they were feeling, they were feeling like, hey, maybe this could work with the Nine of Cups here, maybe this could work, um, maybe this is what I've been wishing for, wanting in a relationship, which is you, or wanting in a friendship, some of you, this is a friendship situation, may not always mean you know, whoever you could be thinking about, right? Somebody who cares about you, somebody who loves you. Could be a friend, could be someone you could be romantically connected with in the past or currently. Could be anybody, but I feel like this contentment, right? Nine of Cups initially was like, I feel really contented with this connection. Ten of Cups, I believe our connection will last for a long time and we're going to be very, very happy together. Um, I don't see a lot of, I, I don't see many, I would say, um, negative cards here, to be honest. I feel like majority of the cards here are quite positive, except for the Nine of Wands and then we've got the... Um, eight of swords here so these two cards for me indicates maybe this person is thinking a lot <laughs> overthinking right and sometimes it feels like there could be some positives some negatives so they feel like okay am i just am i just imagining right ten of cups is it all just in my head with the eight of swords here. Is it all just in my head? Am I imagining things? But I think this could happen. This could be a connection that's long lasting. And the three of cups here, they feel like, hey, maybe both of you are gonna be happy, celebrate life together, doing things together, socializing together, or even getting married if this is a romantic connection, okay? And eight of cups here is in reverse. So it's like, I'm, I'm gonna stick around. Um, they feel like they should stick around, but they are also overthinking. But I don't see, I don't see their overthinking is actually bad, to be honest, because there are a lot of very positive cards here. And we've got um, the Nine of Wands, maybe an indication of, you know, what if I will get hurt from this? What if I'm going to be left alone because there's only one person standing here? Um, should I protect myself? Can Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn be trusted? Um, I don't know, I just feel like this could be someone relatively new with the Page of Cups here. If you don't have someone new right now, maybe this is someone coming in that could potentially feel this way for you, okay? And we've got the King of Swords right here. So this person could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. But if you are separated though, <clears throat> another version would be if you are separated from this person, if you are separated from this person, because, you know, Nana was going to get a bit of a hurt uh, feelings or being defensive or being guarded or afraid to get hurt. If you are separated from this person, I just keep seeing them um, reminiscing, yeah? Uh, eight of Swords here, reminiscing about, you know, all the good times, 
nine of uh, three of cups, all the good times both of you have shared with each other. How everything was good, nine of cups, you know, ten of cups. Everything was just perfect, right? Because the eight of cups in Rose kind of kid, like a stuck energy returning to the past. So for some of you, if you're separated from your person, maybe the person on your mind. They could be stuck in the past with actually thinking about all the good times. See, all of these are really good times. And then what, maybe something can happen, right, between the two of you, where somebody got hurt, and there's the stuck energy here, Will of Fortune in my first. It's almost like Five of Swords, I have to make sure that I this connection lasts. Um, if this is someone new, this part, it feels like someone new. If there's someone, because pages young so it could indicate a new connection those of you currently connected with someone new newish they feel good about you <laughs> they actually feel good about you they just can't stop thinking about you right eight of swords like when we see each other again what are we gonna do right what are we gonna do when we see each other again i want to relive the moments that we have shared before in the past, or if you've if you haven't met this person yet, then um, if you've just been chatting online, then they're looking forward to meeting you, making memories with you, right? Hmm. Six of Pentacles in reverse. This for me indicates, you know, it's like a one-sidedness for some of you. It could be someone that you feel ah. Oh, I don't think they're thinking about me. I don't think they have any feelings for me, but actually they do because a lot of cups here are in an upright position. This person also may feel that, hey, what if I'm the only one feeling this way for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, and they don't feel the same way for me, right? <laughs> this is interesting because there's a very gullible energy that I'm seeing here, except for the king of swords so this may be an indication of me um of this person acting cold or uh if not they have this very cold exterior or they've been treating you coldly or you know the king of swords like a strategic king as well maybe this is their strategy which is to not really show you who they truly are um but it feels like this person has this exterior where sometimes they may seem cold or acting cold or too, a bit too serious. But deep down, they're all mushy for you, right? Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So they feel a lot for you. Two cups, they care about you. They have loving feelings for you. Nine of cups, you are their wish fulfillment. Ten of cups. They imagine about the future, doing things with you in the future, three of cups, spending good times with you, um, celebrating with you, eight of cups in my verse, I want to stick around, I want to stay in this connection. Um, there's a lot of stuck energy here as well, Will of Fortune. Right? So it, it feels like maybe your person will be feeling that they want to stick around or they wish they could have stuck around or you could have stuck around if you're separated from this person. So in terms of feelings, I would say this person actually cares about you, loves you, or likes you, wants you, want to spend time with you, want to work on this connection, Eight of Pentacles. But of course, these are all, you know, Ten of Cups. It's like you you wish, and with the Nine of Cups here, it's like you wish for, they wish for the future, happy, happy future with you, but, you know, this all, you know, uh, hope, imagination. So they may be worried with the nine of wands that it's not going to happen or what if, you know, with the will of fortune of verse, you know, something happens between the two of you, then things might change. So, you know, six of pentacles, what if you don't feel the same way for them? What if things don't pan out the way they have imagined it, right? But in terms of feelings, I feel like they, they're kind of serious, I would say, because the King of Swords is quite serious, Eight of Pentacles. Um, your person on your mind right now could be feeling like, hey, I'm serious about this connection. I, I would like to put my time, my, my effort into this connection. I'm here to stay, Will of Fortune and Love First. At least for now, this is what I can see. Um, it's me trying to stay in this connection, trying to work on this connection. 
putting in, you know, investing my time, my energy into this connection, because I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, things could work out between two of us, or that we do get along, or we will work on getting along. Um, and Page of Cups, very different energy, so your person will be feeling like you're very different, you're unique, and that maybe both of you work well together, that, you know, there's something very happy about this energy that I've seen. It's like super, super happy. They're happy with you, I would say. Happy with your, happy with the possibilities in the future with you, potentially being happy with you, okay? A little fortune in reverse, like, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna stick around, I'm gonna work on this connection, work on myself, right? I'm not changing, well, fortune in reverse, I'm not changing anything. Whatever I've said to you, promised you about the future, whatever they may have expressed to you at one point in time, they, they meant it, okay? Um, and they want, they want to make sure that it works out in the end with the Three of Pentacles here. The Nine of Wands, a little bit of a like, you know, cautious energy. So they may be feeling like they need to be a bit more cautious with you, with this connection, because it means a lot to them. I would say that this person feels that you mean, you mean a lot to them. Like they truly want this to uh, work out. And we've got the Five of Swords here. Five Swords is like, I will fight. I will fight till I win this, right? So I win at all costs energy. So they want to win you at all costs um, or win you back at all costs if you're separated, right? Hmm. You know, there's so many good cards here, to be honest. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, even if you're separated from your person, they still have really good memories of you. Um, but they may not want to show it with the King of Swords. But if you are currently connected with if you have someone that you're currently connected with, could be a friend or someone you could be romantically connected to, and they have really good feelings about you, okay? They definitely do. They're like, okay, if this is a friendship, friendship forever, BFF, you know, best friends forever, that kind of an energy. If this is a family member, I'm looking forward to seeing my sister again, my brother again, or, you know, any you know, any family members, this, this energy of, we, you know, we are one, three of cups here, right, and the ten of cups, we are one, we are together, we're gonna stick around, uh, we're gonna be for each other, we're gonna be there for each other, that kind of an energy, but if this is someone new, romantically, you could be romantically, romantically connected to, I sense them feeling so good about you, they feel so good about you. Yeah, there's some energy like, but I need to wait and see a bit. Maybe I'm overthinking. Uh, maybe I'm overanalyzing. But overall, I feel like like 90% of the time, they have super good feelings for you, okay? Um, take care of Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. This is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, if you like to book, uh, yeah, I already said that. <laughs> Don't forget to hit um, on the bell notification button if you like to be notified <clears throat> every time when I post your videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot, which is this channel. And Chelsea Tarot 2.0 is my latest channel where I only post individual sign readings on that channel, okay? And on this channel, I post both individual sign readings and collective readings. And I post way more often on this channel than on the other channel. But... Anyway, take care for Go Tories and Capcom. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.